who are catching hell in our community. All of us who are catching hell in our community are catching hell for a reason. The Bible says we are blind, but we cannot see. We have ears, but we cannot hear. We have a tongue, but we cannot speak. We are lame because we do not walk in the way of free, proud, and productive individuals. We do not build homes for ourselves. 30 to 50 million black people in America, and where are our skyscrapers in downtown Los Angeles? Where are our supermarkets in Los Angeles? Huh? Where are your department stores? Where are our farms that deliver the food to the supermarkets? Where are our schools that teach and train our children? Where are our television stations that produce movies that talk about, demonstrate, extol the virtues? of our people. Why is it that we have to depend on somebody else to give us, as Brother Malik said, a Black History Month? And then after they gave us a Black History Month, was it a coincidence that they gave us the month with the least amount of days? Huh? Why is it that the black family is catching so much hell? And that our people have to depend upon a welfare system to feed our children. And that our women are forced to go down there. They call it aid for families with dependent children. That's a lie. Aid for women with dependent children. Because if you, black man, were part of that family unit, they wouldn't give her that money. But because they almost force you not to be in the home with your children. Setting up an unnatural situation that our women have to feed in to feed our babies. There's something wrong in the black community. We are people who have lost our names. We've lost our language. We've lost our country, our God, and our religion. We've lost everything that would make us a free, proud, productive, and independent people. When we were robbed from Africa and brought to America, what did I say? Robbed. robbed. And remember, it is in the Bible that it is written that he who stealeth a man and selleth that man, and if that man should be caught in his hands, he would surely be put to death. I mean, that's in the Bible now. All of us, did we buy a ticket on the Mayflower, on the Nina? How about the Pinta? How about the Santa Maria? Did we hook a ride with Magellan? Ponce de Leon? Christopher Columbo? Well, how did we get here? How did 50 million black people all of a sudden pop up in America? Somebody stole us from Africa. Huh? And millions of our people lost their lives on the Middle Passage from Africa to America. I'm talking about millions. How many of you have ever taken a little cruise from L.A. to Catalina? Huh? Or just a cruise, period, on a boat out in the ocean? Did you get seasick? That's the worst kind of sickness that you could ever experience to be seasick. But what about our people that they robbed from Africa? Put in the holes of ships, had to lay buck naked in the holes of ships, lying down on unshaven, unsmooth, unsanded two by fours. And every time the boat rocked, the splinters would eat into the backs of our people getting seasick and would throw up on each other, would defecate and urinate in the holes of the ship that would not be cleaned out. So many of us died from disease. 
Many of us would bite our wrists and bleed to death because we did not want our children to be born in a world of slavery. And then after we arrived in America, not being able to teach our children our history, and a man or a woman without a knowledge of his history is a man or a woman that has lost the knowledge of him or, him or herself. All praise is due to our love. Not having our original language, not having our original name, Kunta Kinte was made into Toby. Huh? Lost our God. Lost our religion. Lost everything. But the Bible predicts and prophesies that one would come. One would come. And that one would be raised up and he would guide his people back to themselves. Brothers and sisters, we have a representative of God in our midst. Why is he a representative of God? Because he carries the truth of God in his mouth. He's a representative of God's divine messenger to us. Why? Because he carries the truth of the divine messenger in his mouth. He is a representative of the most powerful, the most dynamic, the savior of black people in 1989 going into 1990, a special representative and assistant to Minister Louis Farrakhan. Why? Because he carries the word of Minister Farrakhan in his mouth. He's back and he's black by popular demand. Let's give him a round of applause. Minister Khalid Abdul Muhammad. Sabia Muhammad, a black hand. And Brother Charles X from Pasadena, was he up before? Let's give both of them a black hand. And Brother Malik Farrakhan, let's give him a black hand. You got a better hand than that? All oh, praise is due to Allah. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all the world. I bear witness that regardless to land or label or language, there is but one God. I bear witness to Osiris. I bear witness to Moses, to Jesus, to Muhammad the first and the last. And I bear witness to all of the great worthies who have come in the great line of divine. We greet you, my beloved and beautiful black brothers and sisters, with the greeting words of peace. Assalamu alaikum. We are very honored and very happy to have you to come and spend this Sunday evening with us. If you would have been with us last Sunday, you would understand why it's difficult for me to make the next statement. But on the eve of a new year, in fact, if you were here last Sunday, you know that we're not sure what year it is. After we went through the way that these devils have messed up the calendars and the time and the dates, one time he celebrated the new year on March 1st, and now it has been changed to January 1st. And we went over the fact of how he had shifted the days and weeks and months around and how Julius Caesar named the month Sextilius after himself and called it July. And how the Emperor Augustus changed Quintilius to the month of Augustus, or August, after himself, and took a month out 